My name is Eddie. I have traveled throughout Central America. I've been to Nicaragua three different times. And there has been something big going on in the news in Nicaragua for a number of years. And that is, they have been trying to build a canal right through Nicaragua, just like the Panama Canal, to transport ships from the Caribbean to the Pacific, but longer and wider. I am not kidding, and many of you guys have probably heard about this, but I know that a lot of people haven't heard about it, especially since it's actually not even clear if it's gonna happen anymore because there haven't been too many updates about it lately, but I will explain more in detail right after this. But throughout history, there's been talk about building a canal in Nicaragua going way, way back. But the most recent serious talk about building a canal began in 2013 when Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega announced that a Chinese firm would build a $40 billion canal across Nicaragua. The canal would connect the Caribbean with the Pacific, stretching over 170 miles, and it would be able to fit some of the large ships that would not be able to fit through the Panama Canal at the time. Now the Chinese firm is called the Hong Kong Nicaragua Canal Development Investment Company, more commonly known as the HKND, and the head of this development firm is a Chinese billionaire named Wang Jing. So in June 2013, a law was passed by the Nicaraguan government that gave the HKND an exclusive concession to all of the land to build the canal, as well as for other related projects like building airports and other tourism resorts. And now we are here four years later and the canal still hasn't been built and various people have speculated that it ever would be built. And one of the reasons why people doubted and continue to doubt is people wonder where the money is actually gonna come from. It's $40 billion, which is a lot of money. Now, different media sources have tossed around all kinds of ideas about how they were actually gonna pay for this canal, whether Wang Jing was gonna pay for it himself with his own money because he did have a lot of money, or if it was the Chinese government that was gonna pay for it. But all the skepticism over how the canal was gonna be paid for grew a lot more in 2015 when Wang Jing lost a lot of money in the stock market. So again, as of right now, it is not clear at all if the canal will be built. It has pretty much almost disappeared from the news. There's articles that come out every now and then, like every few months, just kind of speculating various things about it. But we haven't really heard hardly anything about this for a while now. And as you can imagine, this has generated a massive amount of controversy. So there are some people, like President Ortega himself, who argue that the economic benefits for the Nicaraguan people would be so big that they would outweigh all of the costs. He said that it would create thousands and thousands of new jobs and just essentially transform the Nicaraguan economy. But then on the other side, there are many scientists, environmentalists, many other locals who own land who would be affected by this canal project, and many others who are strongly opposed to the whole thing. Environmentalists and scientists have noted that the whole project and its infrastructure, including all of the roads, all the pipelines that they're gonna have to build for it, that that is going to destroy millions and millions of acres of tropical rainforest and habitat for wildlife. And what many people argue would be the worst environmental impact is the fact that the canal cuts through Lake Nicaragua. So they would dredge the canal right through Lake Nicaragua. You would be mixing salt water in with the fresh water, essentially destroying a large part of that aquatic ecosystem. There would potentially be a lot of pollution from industrial chemicals in the water. You'd potentially be introducing invasive plants and animals to that lake. And the lake is actually a valuable resource of drinking water for the people of Nicaragua. Additionally, many people have pointed out that local indigenous people would be displaced or affected in a number of ways. There have been huge protests and people have some really strong opinions about this. A lot of people who don't want it to be built are skeptical about how much money is actually gonna go into the Nicaraguan economy because it is a Chinese firm that's developing the project. There are many more people now who don't think it's gonna be built at all than there were before. And yeah, that's that, I guess. I'm just simply giving a summarized outline with what's happened with this up until this point in time. This video was recorded in January 2018. 
I just made this video just to try to educate as many people as possible about this. I'm not breaking any new news. When you're a tourist and you're going to another country, I think it's important to know what current events are going on in another country because it'll enrich your experience. I went to Nicaragua in late 2017 and I met a number of young travelers who were having a great time. They were going on all these fun tours. They were having a great time partying. And some of them had no idea about this project. And I mean, it's huge. It's a huge deal. If it happened, it would be like one of the biggest development projects, if not the biggest, I don't know, but at least one of the biggest development projects in all of human history. I feel like it's just really important for people to know about this if you're traveling to Nicaragua. Not because it's gonna change your itinerary or anything, but I just think overall, when you know more about a country and you know what's going on, it makes the experience visiting another country more authentic, more real, especially if you interact with the locals. When I was in Nicaragua, I actually talked to a number of locals about this issue. I probably talked to about 10 or so, but I basically just asked them questions about it. I asked them what they thought and it's really interesting to hear their responses. When I talked to them, I just was completely neutral. I was not opinionated at all about anything. I just simply asked them what they thought. I'm a wildlife biologist. I love nature more than anything. I like to consider myself an environmentalist. You know, using my common sense, yeah, it sounds like there could be dramatic environmental impacts, but maybe some potential economic benefits to someone in some way. So that's all I will say. I really don't know that much about this. I pretty much outlined sort of what I know about this in this video. I don't know too many details. I'm not here to take a really hard stance and try to make enemies already with the opponent on YouTube about something that I really don't know a lot about. I'm just simply trying to raise awareness. I will just say that I do think it is really interesting that they announced that they were gonna go ahead and develop this and still four years later, nothing has been done. It's just, I find it very interesting. So I will just conclude by saying, do some research on some of the current events of a country before you visit it. It'll just make your experience more interesting. You can interact with locals about the issues and it's just cooler visiting a country when you really know what's going on. And also I think it's important to be aware of environmental issues in particular when you're visiting places because as a tourist, you're making an impact. Hey, if this canal is built, it would impact a lot of things. One thing that it could potentially impact is tourism. And that is one thing that I am trying to explore in my YouTube channel are environmental issues of the destinations that I go to and that I travel to as a travel vlogger and a naturalist, as a biologist. When I go places, not only do I wanna inspire you guys to travel, to have fun, to observe nature, but I also want you guys to think about the environmental issues of the places that you're going and how you're impacting those places as a tourist. And one way to explore that yourself is doing research on the environmental issues of the place and then asking locals about it. And that's something I'm going to do in some of my trips coming up. When I was in Nicaragua, I did not record my conversations about the Nicaragua Canal just because I wasn't sure how people would react. But moving forward, I'm definitely gonna respectfully explore some environmental issues of the places that I go by interviewing people. Thank you very much. If you guys are interested in learning more about travel tips, seeing my adventures, seeing cool places in nature, and learning about environmental issues in the world, feel free to subscribe to my channel and peace out.